Well, as the saltwater wedge moves upriver, there is no need to panic. Leaders want you to be informed, but say you don't need to go out and buy up all the pallets of water. Alyssa Curtis has more do's and don'ts as we keep an eye on the Mississippi. By now, a lot of us have heard about the saltwater wedge moving up the Mississippi River. The situation is serious, but there's no need to panic and definitely no need to hoard water. So please don't do this or this. Instead, Dr. Corey Bear um, wants you to do this. First of all, I want everybody to take it down a thousand notches. Okay? <laughs> a thousand. A thousand notches. Right now, Lower Plaquemines Parish is the only area whose water is affected. They've been under drinking water advisory since early this summer. But the parish is facilitating water distribution for those residents. The state has been partnering with them to provide uh, resources. For everyone else, the water. Safe to drink. We have an issue. Uh, with with the water supply, we will let the public know well in advance. Here's a timeline of the wedges movement. It's expected to reach Bell Chase by October 13th, St. Bernard, October 19th, Algiers, October 22nd, Gretna, October 24th, West Jeff by October 25th. It's expected to get to East Carrollton, October 28th, and East Jeff, October 29th. But the governor, the Corps of Engineers, and each parish's leaders are working hard to mitigate the wedge. They're doing things like raising the underwater sill, bringing in barges of drinkable water from upriver, and installing reverse osmosis machines. The governor has requested a federal state of emergency declaration, but that doesn't mean it's an emergency situation. The declaration will help us get more money for resources. Like he said, there is no need uh, for panic. Uh, we just need to make sure that we are aware of the situation. And if the salt water does impact the drinking water, there are plans in place. Sewerage and Water Board says they will not cut off the water supply. And Jefferson Parish has already gotten into contact with grocery stores. For them to be ready, for them to discuss with their supply chains, uh, make sure they're ready to flex up, to volume up. If you want to conserve water, you can fill up some gallon jugs using your faucet. But remember, be calm, be collected. There's no need to hoard water and make sure to get your information from trusted sources. Alyssa Curtis, Eyewitness News. Well, each parish has reiterated they will notify their residents if the area's drinking water is affected. But until then, to stay informed, that's all we really can do. We're updating our website and social media pages many times a day. As the situation continues, you can go to WWLTV.com, text the word water to 504-529-4444. We'll send you a link there.